Good evening, everybody. I'm Lady Red. This is Lady Red's Tech Reviews. And let's see if I can find. Where is it? I am getting the chat pulled up. There we go. Okay. Oh, good grief. There. Forgot to switch it back around. All right. Let's see. There we go. That's what kind of day it's been. It's Monday, and I went to work today. And let me tell you, this is what it was like for me at work a day on a Monday, because I don't normally work Mondays. Um, you remember when you were a little kid, and you would be, like, at a restaurant or at a store with your parents shopping or something, and you ran into one of your teachers, and you couldn't, you remember that you, you couldn't quite figure out who they were because they looked like somebody you might know, but they were just different. That's what it was like for me today. That's what work was like for me today. Um, I don't know. I've been off, like just off all day long. So, but I'm here and it's, it's a video I've been really wanting to bring you uh, on a live stream, obviously, that I've been wanting to bring you for a while. Um, just wow it has been absolute chaos for me um so the last time we were live i talked about a flood and um my property management company has really dropped the ball with this flood so um i'm moving that's all that's i'm moving i have got like this huge stack of boxes back here behind me um you can see is that the cat sitting on one yep that's what he that's what the cat is on is uh the stack of boxes i've got suitcases packed i have given a bunch of stuff away i've thrown a bunch of stuff away and that's what i have been doing i'm moving sunday sunday is my moving day and there's a 50 percent chance of rain isn't that another lovely monday thing for me so, but I'm here now, and uh, let's see who we've got in the chat. Let's go to the live chat. I don't even know what this top chat business is all about. Why do they even do that? Okay, Sebastian, did I have a memorable Christmas? Yes, I did. I got a brand new set of cookware, so I gave all my old cookware away. Uh, Tech Wiz, thanks for joining. Walter Scott, Barbara Whitey, Google C, Jesse Dominguez, Oscar Frederico, Tech Love and Mama, Jessica Fuller, Shay Kennedy, David Gordeau. Daryl Kilborn and Joseph Bennett. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's see. Late shows with that. He read so much better than Jimmy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I got my tooth. See, look, I got my fake tooth. Uh, this I've had for a couple weeks now. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> taking a little bit getting used to. I was slurring there for a little while. Firewolf Studios, you are new here. Welcome to the show. Andrew Gonzalez, thank you for joining. Big House, how you doing? So tonight what I was going to go over was some of the best and worst phones that we have in the lineup with Cricut because I've got most everything on the channel here. I'm missing a new one. There is a new one. It's called the Cricut Inspiration. And I'm trying to get my boss to order that one in... He just had, because we are having such a hard time with the Icon 2, okay? We're going to start out, we got best and worst. We're going to start out with the number one worst phone in the store. And it's on my channel here, and I think I described it as a good starter phone. Let me begin by saying, when I say a good starter phone, I mean talk and text only. Like, don't try to do anything else with this phone. Talk and text is even a little issue because it's a little sketchy because I'm um, hearing from customers that um, the microphone is real static, real static. I've been cussed out so many times over this phone. Like, I was cussed out just a few days ago. What was it, Friday? Friday or Saturday? Yeah, that recent Friday. It was that recent that I got cussed out over this phone. So, uh, the Icon 2, um, if you just need an emergency backup phone, it might be okay for that. We are not having a good experience with that same device. It is made by a company called Emblem Solutions, and it's branded for Cricut Wireless. Um, on the flip side of that, the best one by Emblem Solutions is the Ovation. 
um, we get almost no complaints. And the, the complaints that we are getting, a lot of it is due to the bloatware. And there's tutorials here on the channel, so take those out. So absolutely, if you got that phone, get rid of that bloatware. All those stupid games, take those out. Um, but the Ovation, you know, it's a budget phone. Okay, it is not a flagship. Do not expect flagship performance. But for what it is, it's a big bang for your buck. Um, right now it's on sale. And of course, I never give prices. But right now, you know, it's like 80 bucks plus tax and activation. It's a pretty good phone. I mean, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised with that phone. We can't hardly keep them in stock. We sell so many of them. None of them come back with a problem. And I, that, it makes me very happy. So let's catch up the chat. What happened to me, Trey Demby? I'm getting that. Um, we have a David Gordo. You have it in your store. It's a smaller version of the. Is it any better than the Icon too? That Icon. I'm trying to get my boss to get it, just so we can have something, you know, for the people that are coming in and they can't spend a lot. I mean, we're in all in hard times right now, and not a lot of people are spending big bucks on phones. Can spend big bucks on phones. Um, so uh, I, I mean, I'm always looking for something a good value for my customers. You know, because I, I don't want to take all their money out now. You know, all that being said, when these stimulus checks went out and when these tax checks are fixing to go out, my, they're going to spend it and they might as well spend it in my store, you know. That's just because I'm there to make money. Um, Joseph Bennett, I would be careful with that K92. We are seeing an issue with that. Uh, so let's roll right into that. Uh, 5G phones, the better one is, uh, I know y'all never thought you would hear me say this. The Samsung A51 5G is my favorite 5G phone from Cricut Wireless right now. Um, it's a good price on it, 300 bucks plus tax and activation. Uh, so that's gonna vary in different um, locations. Tax rates obviously are gonna be different. Um, it's a great phone. It's a mid-range. It's a good, fast processor. That camera is fantastic, y'all. That camera is awesome. The K92, I will almost got one. They're on sale right now for $199 plus tax and activation. Um, they have a freezing issue. I was in a meeting a couple of weeks ago with other managers, and um, we're all experiencing the same thing with those phones. We're all kind of holding back on them. We're not really pushing them because they're freezing up, and you have to hold the power and volume down together to get them to come back on. They're freezing and crashing completely. Holding the power button down is not bringing them back up. You have to do power and volume down. So if you have one of those and you're running into that, now you know what to do because that's what we're having to do. And I've seen one that it would pick up the 5G just fine, uh, but it wouldn't pick up 4G band. Um, it just the the girl she lived, you know, kind of out in the country, and um, she uh, got the 5G in town, like where we are, where our store is, is in town. It's 5G. It's fine. She got home and had absolutely no signal whatsoever. It wasn't picking up 4G. So uh trade mbs what happened to me i'll tell you what y'all y'all hear me i'm a little bit congested okay after the flood like the last live stream i told you all about the flood i had water over it was terrible it stunk it still smells a little funky in here a little musty because it's so cold i can't air it out every day but um some carpet soured i've got mold growing in here and this is why i'm moving y'all i've got mold growing in here by my water heater where that leak was because i've got my water heater here and then sitting right on top of it is a hvac unit and that hvac unit's been leaking for over a year and they won't fix it and i kept telling them that look this is leaking it's going to grow mold and there's nobody living downstairs from me and it's flooded there their ceiling is rotten their walls are rotten they're not going to fix that either and i've got black mold in here growing and you can hear me like if you've been on my channel long enough you hear me cough every now and then i have some breathing problems i have asthma and uh, chronic bronchitis and uh, so now I've got this mold issue that I'm dealing with. There's seriously like black fur growing on the wall next to my water heater. And then in this cabinet right up here behind me, I've got gray mold growing up there because the ceiling, the roof is leaking and they won't fix that either. All these apartments upstairs are having leaky roofs and leak, there's leak in the ceiling. Like there's like plaster coming off of the ceiling, falling down on my stove. And I'm just finally, this place has gone downhill in the two years that I've been here and I'm just like this whole mold thing and them not wanting to clean it up. Like they didn't even have my carpets clean or nothing. So it just, I'm done. And I found a sweet, sweet, sweet deal on and say what you will about it. it's a two bedroom trailer. Uh, and it's in this area, it's hard to find anything. Um, 
that is reasonably priced and I got a sweet deal on it for $4.50 and I'm going to have a studio room. I'm so excited that second bedroom, I'm going to use it as a studio and it's got a fenced in backyard for my, you see my dog behind me. Uh, let me see if I can, which way do I need to go here so you can see her. There she is. <laughs> that is Maya. That is Maya the house wolf. And uh, she's going to have her own backyard now, and it's fenced in, and it's, it's, she's looking, you know, you can tell she's really looking forward to it. So um, we're all really excited, and the cats, you know, they're going to have, you know, new stuff to uh, sniff and do cat things with. So I have not felt great. Um, I've been having a lot of mold issues, breathing, coughing a lot, um, a lot of congestion, so yeah, it's not been fun the last few weeks. Um, let's see. Why is it only $10 an hour at our store? Oh, wow. Well, I make more than that. I ain't gonna tell you much. It'll make you cry. Um, my boss is very generous though. My boss is super generous. I love my boss. He's awesome. Um, yeah, the Icon 2 is one of the free ones. Stylo 6 is the best phone y'all got. Trey, I'm getting a lot of complaints lately about the Stylo 6. Like, it started out great, but it is an LG, and LG stands for lag. Uh, and I've seen, there was one that this lady brought in the other day. Oh, my God. It was, I was so frustrated. I wanted to throw it in traffic and because it was going so freaking slow. And she didn't have any cleaner apps or anything in there. There was a couple of things in there. Um, the scoop, I took that out. Um she wasn't using add it up so i took that out and a couple of other games i ran the built-in cleaner now the built-in cleaner is fine i ran that cut the phone off back on again and then it was smooth and i told her just to do that every day um one of the guys i work with has the stylo six and he's saying the same thing he's had his a couple of months now and he's saying the same thing that his is starting to lag too and he games on his a lot so i told him just to clean it out you know and run that cleaner every day and then restart the phone, you know, once a day. And that seems to be helping. So now I'm not, I mean, LG stands for lag. You know, it is what it is. You bought a Nokia ND offline. You see what broken LCD. What? Oh, that's got us. Um, Oscar Frederico, the Stylo 7. Yeah, the Stylo 7, and it is going to be a 5G phone. Um, we're expecting that sometime around April. Uh, David Gordeaux, you hear great things about the uh, ovation. I love the ovation. I do. Um, let's see. Oh, it runs, it's much better than the Icon 2. It runs 10, not Android Go. Oh, good. I think that's the biggest problem because um, we also have the Alcatel Expire, which is on the worst list. Um, but honestly, I'm pushing that one ahead of the Icon 2. Um, they had, it's an Android Go, but it is an Alcatel. We do not have high expectations of anything made by Alcatel. Um, right now, uh, what we're pushing for the budgets, um, I've kind of backed off of the Tava because it seems like we got a whole batch of them where the charging ports are out of the box bad. Um, so we're kind of backing off of those a little bit. And I tell customers, you know, it's iffy. You have seven days to bring it back if there's a problem with it or if you don't like it. But it does have extra storage. So that is something. Uh, it's got 32 gigs of storage. And um, the LG Fortune 3, that's our, our big push right now. That's the, the one that, um, you know, comes in after tax and activation around 100 bucks. Um, people are just overlooking uh, the... Samsung, the AM1, and I mean, it just like the, it fell into this, it's fallen into the same trap that the J3 and the J2 fell into. Um, people just seem to overlook. They come in, they ask for a Samsung Galaxy, and they expect, you know, flagship performance, and they don't quite understand, and we explain to them this is a more basic phone, and um, they want to keep on going to something else uh, for whatever reason. Let's see, Firewolf, you order the S9 Plus because flagship performance on a budget? Absolutely. There is nothing wrong at all with an older flagship. I am streaming right now from a Motorola Z3. This is my daily. It's a Z2. Um, 
I love older flagships. Me and another good friend of mine, one of the viewers on this channel, is probably going to be watching this in the re uh, replay crew. Uh, we are both huge fans of the Z2 Force because it's such a tough phone, and we are phone destroyers. There's a reason I'm streaming from the rear camera of my Z3 and not the front camera um, because I scratched the shit out of it. That's what I did. <laughs> and it didn't take me long to do it. David Gordo, you heard nothing good, but go y'all may have gotten a different battery or using a different distributor. Um, we have 13 stores in my market, and two of the other managers were saying the same thing. And um, my boss owns four stores, and the other three stores are in a different market. And I know um, that at least one of those other stores, they have had two be returned for the freezing. Let's see, the SE... 2020 you had $99 but right now it's still 49 and this is something that Cricut has done that's really irritating it's a corporate deal and it's only available online for $149 for the upgrade but you come in the store and people they go online and they see what we've got and then they come in the store and they expect us to pay the same price it's $249 in the store ain't that messed up every state is different on taxes yes they are Every county, even, is going to be a few dollars difference on taxes. Um, tech for your needs. Thanks for joining. Bloatware is causing the K92s to mess up. It could, but it not. It wouldn't harm the signal. Like, it wouldn't harm the um, signal reception. Um, it's just something. I don't know. That one was glitched. It didn't get all the bands. It didn't get the 4G bands. I had to do it for whatever reason. Or um, there's you know going to be some kind of hardware problem. You can see the dog. You can see her tail. <laughs> this is what she does in the evening. The rest of the time she sleeps. She is 12 years old. That's how old she is. We have been through a lot together. Uh, spray what with vinegar. Oh, the vinegar. Yeah, I've been spraying with vinegar. I've been using baking soda. Um, this carpet was soaked. Like half my living room got soaked. Part of my bedroom got soaked. It soaked up. I um, mean, it was everywhere. There was so freaking much water here. So, uh, get a spray bottle with water and bleach to kill the mold and tea move. I've got some stuff. Um, my dad knows a guy that, um, has a business here. Um, it's called Surf Pro and they do mold remediation. He gave me a big bottle of this stuff and I spray it every two days and it's helping. Like I can breathe finally. Um, there for a few, it was hard y'all. It has been hard on me. Because um, I was waking up with these terrible headaches um, every day for about a week. Um, I was getting really congested like in my chest and I couldn't sleep very well because of it. Um, I still cannot run my heat at night because it's right next to my HVAC unit. So it's pulling it all the way through the house. And I forgot to turn the heat down last night. And I got up about 3 o'clock this morning. And I had to turn it back down again because, I mean, I was just choking. As soon as I, you know, kind of quit blowing on me I was fine um but it, it's been pretty rough that and the cold weather doesn't really help a lot either but I mean as soon as I come home I'd start sneezing my eyes are watering and I'm finally doing better like it's been about a week that I've been spraying this stuff and I can finally start the last couple of days telling a real difference uh let's see here if building management will fix the mold problem and damage stuff you can take them to court and hold them accountable for your health complications I could but they're using COVID as an excuse Ain't that messed up? Like, they are seriously using the COVID as an excuse not to fix stuff. Like, they were going to make me go two weeks without a water heater because it happened um, the week of Christmas. It happened on a Tuesday, the Tuesday before Christmas. And I was at work, and they called me and told me, and I come home because, I mean, I just live, you know, two miles away. And I called and come, they uh, come home. And uh, there, it was like later in the day, you know, but the next day, you know, I took about half the day off work. I was in and out back and forth in between here and work trying to get this cleaned up and get the situation under control. And I ran into the property manager at one o'clock in the afternoon at the Dollar General store. She's supposed to be here until three. She's like, oh yeah, I'll get your water heater ordered tomorrow. It'll be here in about a week, but it might take two weeks because of the holidays. And I was like, what? So I came home and called her corporate office. And I got them to bring the water heater up from downstairs up here. Um, that got installed Christmas Eve morning. Yeah. One question. What's the difference between a limited now and with hotspot? 
<clears throat> the unlimited core is what it's called <clears throat> is um a slower speed it's capped at eight megabits per second and depending on your network congestion and your location uh your speed is going to run anywhere from one meg i've seen it as low as one megabit per second all the way up to seven i've never seen eight um the unlimited more has the 15 gigs of hotspot and it's uncapped speed you get a lot better speed i can run a speed test real quick and give you a good idea because i get really good speed here um at home i'm on a tower that doesn't have a lot of congestion and uh now at work it can run a lot slower um but here at home there's not a whole lot of congestion on this tower and i get some fantastic speeds really let's see y'all see that And this is on my Z2 Force. There you go. How's that? That's for uncapped speed. Yeah. And that's not, as you can see, it's not on the Wi-Fi. That is not, let me back that up, let it focus. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. It's not on the Wi-Fi, you can tell that. So, yeah. I uh, wish I paid more attention to the K92. The price looks pretty good on it. The K92, I mean, I was um, I was that close to getting it. And um, then this flood happened and I decided I was just going to move instead. I'm really disappointed that we're having such an issue with the freeze. And, you know, like it'll crash and then it will just freeze up and I mean, it won't come back on again. You're, we're having to hit power and volume down to get it to come back on again. The MediaTek processor, probably. You are, you are most likely, that is a, probably exactly what it is. Um, how can I get past that activation fee? Um, Trade Denby, from a sales point of view, let me tell you a little secret. That's the only money we're really making, okay, is activation fees and accessory sales. Uh, you can ask your sales rep. Hey, can you get throw me some discounts? Now you're gonna have to spend some money to get that discount. Um, but some stores allow us to adjust the activation fees and some don't. Um, but honestly, that is the only money the store really makes from the sale of a phone from activating. We get a little bit of money, and like I do mean a little double digits, less than eleven dollars uh for an activation. And the rest of it's activation fees. That's all we get. Um, we get the third bill pay when you make your third bill payment. And um, that's it. That's all we get. And whatever accessories that you happen to buy because those are all independent. Let's see. Must have a shitty... Hey, I'm the inventory team. We can't keep these phones we don't like. Our store Aerial G is very popular. Um, yeah, you used a cuss word. YouTube won't show it. My, I am the inventory team. <laughs> yeah, I'm the inventory team. Um, my store only has a staff of four. So, five, four. How many do we have now? One, two, there's three of them and one of me, four. And I tell my boss, we order phones twice a week. I have sold as many as 10 ovations in one day. Our store is very small. Our store is also the busiest store in the state of Tennessee. The busiest store out of all of my parent company stores. Um, there's 45 stores and ours is always in the top three. We have the biggest customer base of any of them. We cover about five counties in Tennessee and Kentucky. And um, ovations and silo sixes fly out the door. And we go through probably anywhere from 15 to 20 a week and we are already pushing 100 activations so far this month uh stimulus checks went out and everybody spent them up just as quick as they could they bought new phones let's see when my phone charger my phone gets like yeah when yeah, i've noticed that about nokia's especially uh chalila duarte says when your phone needs charging it gets like yeah i noticed that especially with 
Um, Nokia's, the battery gets below 15%. Man, those phones barely work at all. Style of step is stepping up to 5G yet. Uh, let's see. Nokia's. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead to the Nokia's. The Tava was one of my lower priced favorites, and now I'm not so sure because we're having trouble, like I said, with the charging port. And the Indy, so many high expectations for that phone. It looked great. Performance, it tanked. Nokia dropped the ball. They freeze. They lag. The camera has a lag in it. Almost all of them are getting returned to the store. There's a few of them that people still have, and it's the ones that are not really overusing the phone, but when you pay that much for a phone and you, you get this hype behind it, you expect it to do what you want it to do, and then it doesn't. So it's a little disappointing. We tell people the truth in our store. Um, we try to shoot straight with people and tell them that, you know, it's a crapshoot at best. It's covered under warranty, and you have seven days to bring it back. Let's see. Uh, there is a rumor that we're fixing to get two Motorola's. We are getting a G7 Power, and we're getting the G7 Stylus for 2021. Um, I've got a uh, the Motorola Insiders thing that I do, and I've done a lot of the training things, little videos and stuff about these phones, and everybody's talking about them. There's like a message board, and everybody's talking about them, and so I'm really excited. I'm hoping, and there has been rumor before about us getting a new Motorola this year, and so I'm really excited, hoping that, you know, probably in March that we can finally get some new Motorola's. Let's see... Uh, Sebastian, it may have the Snapdragon 732, and it may not. It's going to depend. Each carrier can request its own set of specs. Um, Joseph Bennett, you are awesome. No, I'm not selling motos now. Um, they are completely out of the store. I sold them up to the very bitter end because I had people still asking for them. Um, but honestly, those be, after the Android 10 came through, those were a crapshoot too because not all of them were taking that update very well. Um, microphones. That's what was going out on them. The microphones, the speakers, the microphones. Um, they were dropping calls. Uh, I mean, it was all after that Android 10 update. Let's see. CJ, hey, Lady Red, I'd like to ask a question. You got the Stylo 6 and on the unlimited plan. Your data is kind of slow and you're in a good area. Um, check and see if you've got anything that's eating your data in the background. That's one thing. And um, you can use the Open Signal app to see what tower you're on. And it'll also give you a speed test. Because if you're checking your speed or it's getting slow during certain times of day, it not, might just be network congestion. Uh... What about the S20 FE? I haven't had hands on that, um, so I can't really say. Watching this on your brand new Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S purchased on Christmas. Awesome. Uh, do you know if I'll be selling the S21? I don't know. I've got the S20 and... Everybody runs from the price. Like, it's way, like, Cricut is a budget brand. We are a budget service, and we're not going to sell a whole lot of flagships for $1,000 pop. Uh, so, I mean, I skipped the unboxing on the S20 just because I was kind of late getting it. Um, they were sold out of stock, so we couldn't even get the demo. I haven't sold a single one. Uh, because of the price. And by the time I got the phone in hand, Everybody already had videoed it to death, and I felt my video couldn't add anything to it. So I just left that one alone. Trey Demby works at Dollar General. Marlon, hey, Kenny, Marlon. Jordan Williams, I don't know where your money is, man. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Let's see. Damon Fowler, how you doing tonight? Our dog way better speed than you get. Um, I've been good, man. It's just, it's been kind of weird around here with all, I've got some moving stuff going on and um, I've been having some mold issues and it's affecting my health. So I haven't been doing that great. I've been doing great, but not that great at the same time. 
Um, oh no, the inventory team. Um, we we only order like no more than ten at a time, and seriously, like I order ten, and they're out the door in a day or two. I mean, it's unbelievable how fast those ovations are flying out the door. Um, Oscar, your battery is dying, and you're going to upgrade your, so you can see the, what? I got to, uh, it's time to upgrade your phone. There you go. Uh, seriously, Joseph, Bennett, seriously, they raised it last year. They don't need, I don't, I don't want to take no more cousins, man. I'm just, I'm so tired of it. Hopefully that's just a rumor, but maybe, maybe. Um, no, right now the only plan that's got 5G is the $60 plan. Um, -dum 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 -dum. Let's see, your cat's watching from behind you. My cat is always doing something. What phone do I like? I like the Ovation and I like the A51 and I like the Fortune 3 in those three different performance cat categories. Hey, Robert Hughes, do you offer a payment plan? Yeah, um, Progressive Leasing is the only one we have. Now, online, they're using a different company called Affirm. And from what I'm hearing, they have lower um, approval rates. Like they're, they're not approving as many people as Progressive does and they are not approving for as much money either. <laughs> this Tylo 8, that's funny. Well, thank you, Martin. Uh, why does a Galaxy A6 Bluetooth would not work until Wi-Fi is on? I don't know, maybe a glitch in a hardware. This sounds like a, maybe a hardware thing. Uh, what's the honest opinion on the Stylo 6? I like um, I like the Stylo 6, but now it's it's just like every other LG. Over time, it starts lagging. So you're really going to have to do a lot of maintenance and optimization on a regular basis. Uh, remove apps you're not using. Be super careful what you're downloading. Um, careful with keep your storage cleaned out and uh, run that built-in cleaner app. Absolutely. What do we have left? I've got, oh, four minutes to go. I've got burritos in the oven. Look, this is how many, I can't remember what processor. The Ovation, let's take a cardic. Um, there's an unboxing here on the channel and all of the specs are at the very end of every unboxing video. The complete specs are there. I have so many phones in my store. I get them mixed up. So what I have started doing with the, unboxings is putting all the specs together in a list at the end there's a nice and I, I work really hard on those you know I love it when people watch the spec list because I work really hard on those that's the only part of the video I get to be really creative with so I have a lot of fun making those you know it's like a 30 second to a minute long spec screen um burritos yes I've got burritos I've got um frozen burritos but you know those burritos like I packed up all my dishes and all my cookware I've got my silverware and I've got some paper plates so I bought like a 12 pack of burritos <laughs> and some uh some dip and some chips and I've got like some eggs for breakfast and I got some avocados and there we go <laughs> is there a cricket wireless a bigger phone that has NFC the ovation has NFC um what kind of burritos steak and cheese three cheese and shredded steak so it's a different and they had something a little different so i snatched it up but uh they were, unfortunately saw the notice at my store at the counter about the raise the in-store servicing fee oh what happened to, maybe that's just there because we haven't seen anything yet yeah we haven't seen anything yet not good at tnt service in maine did they get, they do have, they're, they're trying to get, we're still, the last I heard was, uh, we didn't have our meeting last week. We had a meeting um, two weeks ago and they were still running off of those temporary terrors. But honestly, there's so many more of them and it's not millions of people packed into two towers. They've got them spread out in, in, in. Mine just went blank. They've got them spread out and thinned out where there's, um, Fewer 
more towers with fewer people on them. There we go. I finally got it out. And it's actually like this. It's actually better. It's a whole lot better than it was. I wish we could keep it this way. Let's put it that way. Uh, yes, the K92 is having issues. Stop, you're making me hungry. <laughs> now, I am about to wrap those up. What brand are they? El Monterey. Got them from Walmart. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up and if there's any questions, like I've got unboxings for all of our phones. Um, the best, if you take proper care of it, the Stylo 6, absolutely. Um, the Ovation and the Fortune 3 are my three favorite uh, Androids in those classes of performance. The worst, the Cricut Icon 2, uh, leave that in the store. And um, the Aspire, absolutely not aspire yeah alcatel aspire um is not my favorite either um the k92 is having some issues and um the nd is absolutely on the worst list yeah i'm sorry i love nokia as a brand but they're really dropping the ball um two years running and we're getting crappy phones from them so do better nokia uh, but that's it. Uh, that's it for the show. What's the recommend over the rest? And it just depends on your budget. Um, the A51 is my favorite of the 5G phones. So there you go. <laughs> I'm going to try and upload. I'll show you what I've got. And like I said, I've not been feeling the, my best. So I haven't really been up to much. But I've got this. This is a speaker and it lights up. Then they send me this cute little thing here. Like, this is a speaker. Check that out. Isn't that not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? And it's got like this little digity, digital, pixely kind of thing that goes on it. And um, with everything that is going on, I have not been up to an unbox. I have not been up to making videos or doing anything. I've been too busy sniffling and sneezing and coughing. Um, I did have not had the COVID, but we've been working a lot of hours because I've had to send one out for testing. I've had to cover store hours in three different stores because somebody got butt hurt and quit and another store. And so I, <sighs> I've got three stores staffed out of my staff. So I've got people split and going all over the place. So it's been pretty hectic. But I'm going to say good night. I will see y'all in the next video. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Doses. Oh, which button is it? Is this the back of the screen? This one. There. Yeah.